Hello, my mathematicians. Today we're looking at module 20, lesson four, which is about using Venn diagrams to classify two dimensional figures. Hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to compare and classify two dimensional figures using Venn diagrams. So look at the spark you're learning. So this mosaic is a piece of artwork made with glass, stone, or ceramic tiles. Mosaic tiles come in many shapes. Draw a Venn diagram to represent the relationships among these polygons. Explain your diagram. So I'm going to draw something that looks Looks like that. Okay. So I'm going to classify using the, the small circle. Circle is all sides congruent. Middle circle two or more pairs of congruent sides. And the large circle will be one or more pairs of congruent sides. Then outside circle. Be no pairs of grand sides. So if we look back here, we only have one that is completely congruent. It'll be this one. So I'm gonna draw that as best as I can. And then we have two shapes that have two or more pairs of parallel sides. So again, I'm going to draw them as best as I can. Will not be perfect. And then we have one shape that has one set of parallel sides, or congruent sides. And then we have two shapes that go outside the circle, but they have none. Again, I'm just doing my best. Something like that. Okay, build understanding. It says, Lila is designing a video game in which the players are arranged quadrilaterals. She defines the trapezoid as having exactly one pair of parallel sides. Complete the Venn diagram to show how squares, rectangles, rhombuses, relate to parallelograms and trapezoids. Label your figures. 
Well, if it's exactly one size, that means a trapezoid is going to be out here. It does not follow any of the others. Then the overarching would be parallelograms. Oops, that was not a good one. And then we have rectangles that have four right angles. We have rhombuses that have four congruent sides, as much as I can draw them that way. And then in the middle, the shape that has all those attributes would be a square. So to explain the, how the diagram would change when a trapezoid is defined as a quadrilateral having at least one pair of parallel sides. Well, if that were the case, the right oval and inner ovals would be inside the left circle because parallelograms would be a sub category of trapezoids. Step it out. The Venn diagrams can be used to sort two dimensional figures by their shared attributes. Sort the polygons into the diagram based on the categories labeled for each circle. Classify the figures and identify whether the figure shares all three attributes. Draw in the middle section where all three circles intersect. Share two attributes. Draw in the section where the two circles intersect. Shares only one attribute. Draw in the larger circle section of the circle. Or does not share any of the attributes. Draw it outside the circle. So we have regular polygons, which means that all the sides are the same. Parallel sides and obtuse angles. So this first one here is just a regular polygon. It doesn't have any parallel sides. It doesn't have any obtuse angles. So we look at our pentagon here and it has is a regular pentagon but it also has obtuse angles. So it's gonna go here. And aren't quite there we go, it's a little bit better. Then we have this other triangle that has an obtuse angle, but it's not a regular polygon, doesn't have parallel sides. Then we have a rectangle, which is not a regular polygon, but it does have parallel sides, does not have any obtuse angles. Then we have our octagon, and it has, it's a regular polygon, it has some parallel sides, and it has obtuse angles. Mine does not look like a regular polygon here, but...
and then we have our square it doesn't have a two angles but it has the other two and then our right triangle here does not have a two angles so the regular polygon and does not have parallel sides that is all for today's lesson hopefully you are now able to compare and classify two-dimensional figures using a bin diagram and remember in order to be a math person all you have to do is be a person and do math